This is what I don't like, yeah, about our and cousins. Yeah. We're not rich, bro. Stop asking me for the iPhone, iPhone. The reason why I wear this is because I had a tube up my bum. My cousin started hitting his uncle. Okay, are we ready, Hisham? Do you want to put your phone away? Hisham, let's just let's just start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. You want me so, to wear this? You want me to wear this? Wear whatever you want. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't lie. We're looking very discombobulated today. Hisham was outside my house and I was in a rush and he told me to hurry up. Wait, am I in fr I think I'm in the frame too much. One sec. Oh, no, it's fine. It's the Amazon podcast, isn't it? Okay, I think this is better. Guys, Hisham came to pick me up. I, I was taking too long. Yes. So I came down like this. So let's explain our outfits first of all. No intro. Ah, oh, this is another thing. We, you were waiting for a podcast for so long. I have so many thoughts to say. Just blur them out. Vomit. <laughs> I have vomit. so many. Okay, let's start. Let's let's try to have some chronology today. First things first. Why are we dressed like this? Hisham, you go first. What, why are you in a dress? <laughs> you know, I thought it was girl. Halloween, so I became a, a nurse. No, basically, the reason why I'm wearing this is because I had a tube up my bum in the hospital. Uh, basically, I had a colonoscopy, which is a tube up there to check if you've got cancer or whatever. So I had that. And yeah, I just got discharged. And I'm still sedated, but yeah, I managed to drive here. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going to be proper. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be No, sorry. just say whatever you want, man. Can you edit my arms and my legs? <laughs> no, the there's nothing wrong with them. So it's been so long since we did the last podcast that I just, I don't know what to do. I've, mm. And the thing is, it's been what, like a month? It's been over a month now. And the whole time I was like, you know what? For the next one, I'm going to come with a script. We're going to have some structure. We're going to we're gonna have some things to talk about. Um, we, we haven't done that. But, <laughs> but still, have you got any ideas? Um, no. Okay, so basically, I, I wanted to kind of talk about everything that's gone on in the last year, because this is coming out in January. This podcast episode, I can't lie, it was meant to come out in uh, New Year's time. It, it didn't come out in New Year's time, evidently. But uh, it was meant, we were supposed to talk about hmm. everything we've, we've achieved like during the year, what we hope to achieve, hopefully, in the next year. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that today, Hisham? Because, wallah, you're looking like you just want to talk about <laughs> getting tubed up the bum. I mean, that's still I can still feel it. But um, yeah, definitely. I think just talking about like how I hit a thousand followers. Yes. Yes. Wait, yes. Wait, wait. So Say that again. I'm gonna put um applaud. Okay, okay. Noise. Guys, I hit a thousand followers. Yeah, I can't. I like, set you up. Well, there's gonna be no noise. <laughs> oh yeah. So Hisham hit a thousand on TikTok, and that means he can go on live. And at first, you were feeling very apprehensive in it. It's, it's a scary very, place. So scary. But now this guy is addicted to it. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> any opportunity. <laughs> We were just chilling in in a shop earlier. I'm not giving free promotions. We were chilling in a shop earlier. This guy just goes on live for no reason. Everywhere, anywhere. So yeah, guys, if you want to, what's it called? If you want to just be entertained <coughs> or if you want to see more of Hisham, hop on his live. What's your app? Oh, it's Aus. Uh, it's, it's I-T-S-A-W-S I -T -S -A -W -S underscore. I-T-S-A-W-S <coughs> English. A-W-S <laughs> underscore. Um, and then obviously we need to congratulate. I don't like it. Muhammad on... Oh yeah, I'm actually going to include applause this time. Wait. A million followers. One million. Mashallah. 1.2 actually, but yeah. This time last year is when I started TikTok. I already spoke about this in, in my one million video. <laughs> it was a bit of cringe. <laughs> but I was like, I don't care. I'm proud of myself. That's one thing mm. that I think I've learned over the last maybe a couple of months. It's okay to be proud of myself. It's okay 100%. to celebrate or just, yeah, be open with mm. my achievements. Because before I would... Any achievement I make, I would just like not tell anyone or just I would not celebrate anything. But uh, this year, I just want to be more just calm with celebrating my achievements because more time I'll just be like, oh, that was nice. Moving on. Mm -hmm. But now I just want to acknowledge them a bit more. So now mm -hmm. Hisham, this is his journey. Remember to go yeah. check out my man's lives. Now, Muhammad, Muhammad's really inspired me. Like, you know, don't you're doing too much. <laughs> you're doing too much. Seeing his growth kind of um, like restart, like pushed me to kind of like, you know, go back out there and try it and stuff like it's really really scary you're like oh my god what if people don't like my stuff or am i not funny enough am i not attractive enough like all the all these thoughts but yeah i'm just you know just doing it so man said you're just there on a pedestal to just be criticized about anything bro the amount of times people get onto my facial hair oh my god man said you got pubes on your head top <laughs> <laughs> it's like mad it's like people actually analyze your face and yeah. draw your face yeah, I Which actually am um, coming like an English lesson. The way people would analyze everything in the video. I'm but not gonna lie, guys. His hair is a bit like the hair's messed, bro. The whole oh yeah, let me explain my fit. Yeah, yeah. So please. today, wait, can I do a fit check? <laughs> it's a podcast. Why am I doing a fit check on a podcast? Just do it. I don't care. So we got this thing. This is what I used to wear in sixth form. I slapped this on because <laughs> it was the form. first thing that was in my cupboard. I got a pink Nike shirt underneath from <clears> Nike. <throat> Sponsor me. But this is uh, Ralph Lauren, by the way. Um, I don't, I don't have fees. I can't lie. I got it from TK Maxx. You know, TK Maxx has the good offers. I got one sock. This one's <laughs> actually. I bought socks from Amazon, bruv. 
<laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Wallah, it's like a 12 pack from Amazon. And then this one, I got Adidas sock um, <laughs> from Adidas. I think this is fake though. So it's probably from Bush Market or something. <laughs> Flat and then turkey. I obviously got the joggers here and I got my pajamas underneath. I think they're somewhere there. Hey, yes. Yeah. So everything is just looking very discombobulated today, but I can't be judged <laughs> by you <laughs> with your hospital. Listen, self. this. Go on, what's your fit check? So my fit. Oh, I can't even. My fit today is I've got these uh, these trainers passed down from my cousins. Yeah. I've got these jeans that I just found. I've got this um, this thing from the hospital. Obviously, it's also got easy access at the back. You can just open it really quickly. And also, I've got this as well. If I rip this off, <laughs> I've also got. No, you <laughs> I've also got this shirt of myself. Say so, Wallah, you have yourself <laughs> yeah. on a shirt. Look. <laughs> hey, it's you posing. It's him next. He's Shem is posing next to a bin. So I think we completed our fit checks. Okay, let's think. What is there to talk about next? <laughs> what is your favourite colour, bro? <laughs> Do you think it's gotten easier for you to basically be on camera? And just be yourself? Yeah. I would definitely say, like, when I first started... Um, when I first started, like a few months ago, it was when I went on my friends' lives. It was really apprehensive. Like people, it's kind of hard to kind of talk to people and kind of communicate and like generate things to talk about. Oh, if if sorry, <laughs> if you see those people that are just there, they're just showing themselves and they're just thanks, yeah. thanks for the roses, yeah. thanks for the likes. Report them, just mass report them and get their whole account <laughs> locked off because I'm tired of going through and and, so tired. and they get better. This is what I don't understand. The only thing worse than the people doing these lives and just sitting there and just saying thanks for the, like with no emotion are the people actually giving them gifts. What are you do? What are you actually doing? They you are, so you are spending viewers. money. You're going yeah. You're going to the TikTok. Um, what's it called? <laughs> Coin purchase area. You're Shop. spending pounds, sterling, dollars, whatever, whatever currency, and and you're spending it on someone that's just sitting there, just existing. I don't think you got one of those TikTokers. They're like the ones that promote everyone else's accounts. Have you seen them? No. <laughs> They just go on live and they're like, oh, like, um. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, any. They don't show their face. They just show accounts of people that have, like, donated or something. Yeah, and they're like, oh, follow oh, them. Oh, yeah, and they have, like, a screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen that Everyone one. No, that was more entertaining, though, but. Um, I feel like just as humans, we kind of need to, like, know, get to know ourselves and not really care what people think. And I feel like, me and myself, I thought a lot about what people were thinking. And I took that to heart, but now I'm just like, you know what, forget. Yeah. Imagine just being you and people are like, <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> that's what makes it hard. Yeah. Ima oh, no, that's an L, fam. Um, Imagine just being yourself and pe and masses of people are like, I can't lie, I do not like you. Uh, I would ban my own TikTok if that happened. I'll report myself. <laughs> yeah, I'd get myself banned. But no, nah, and this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to start a podcast mm. is because on socials, I feel like people only see like a tiny percentage of you and... It's still the, the percentage of of me that people actually like mm. is is like one percent of like it's still me, but it's not all of me. But no, this is the kind of why I wanted to do the podcast because there's mm. just a lot more room for showing other sides to you. Because more time, yeah, it's just the, the comedy on on TikTok. But I'm I'm actually I'm a lot more serious sometimes. Would you prefer to chat to your younger self or your older self? Now, like if you can have a convo yeah, with your younger self and advise them and tell them uh. things, or you could go to the future and have a convo with your older self and he can advise you and tell you things. No, I'd go. I think I'd go speak to my younger self because then. But I'm not gonna lie to you right now. I don't really have much to give to my younger self. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there is. Like you in terms do, bro. You just you're just saying that, bro. I'll chat to my younger self, tell him to cop Bitcoin. That's oh yeah, I'll do. yes. I don't care about advice. I'm trying to get my peas up. <laughs> I'm poor right I will now. tell him that Mountain Dew <laughs> sponsor me. <laughs> well, I don't <laughs> care. Anything here, fam. Okay, there's nothing much. Sometimes I, I think, mm. who would win in a fight? Me or me? <laughs> like, if I actually scrapped mm. myself, who would win? I can't lie. I think I'll smoke. <laughs> what's, so what's your biggest achievement been this year? Forget social media. My main thing is um, developing self-confidence and recruiting, pe recruiting friends That's to build recruiting. <laughs> where I can be myself and like, opening up to... You're coming like an employ employer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I feel like, yeah, just opening myself up to like, you know, close people around me and just being myself, to be honest. I think that's my biggest achievement. Mm. Like it's given me so much confidence in myself and yeah, so much confidence. And what about you? Getting through uni and graduating from, I can't lie. Yeah, that's, that was so long. Round of hey, applause. Hisham's doing five star jumps because <laughs> he feels that like he's lacking energy. <laughs> yeah, do it on camera, do it on camera. Let's see your star jump. Have you got energy now? Bro, them shorts. You know, when I was in hospital, I was so shocked. I literally went inside. Sorry, it's so not related, but... There's no, there's <laughs> nothing to relate it to. I went, so I thought that it was like a checkup thing, blah, 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 blah. So I literally went to sit in the room 
and they were like changed so they gave me this to change into and they got these shorts these blue shorts okay so i went to go wear these shorts and i was like i was like oh they're nice ever <laughs> blah, blah 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 and i and I, I feel something at the back of it so i look back i look at the mirror and do you know what they had they had this part where you, you pull it back and there's a hole there's a hole in the back of the shorts and it's covered with another layer so you what they were gonna do is the doctor literally just rips it off and there's that hole what <laughs> he marinated you for the yeah. operation but you know i didn't even find i found out until i was on the bed because so, i just felt so the you thought you were wearing normal shorts yeah i, I thought you i was wearing <laughs> normal shorts and i was sitting in a fetal position like this and he was like okay so i was thinking in my head like how's he gonna access m the back passage so i was like what's he gonna do Man just rips it off. That was a violation, I'm not gonna lie to you. At least he didn't get it done in Algeria. <laughs> they, that would have been a different experience. <laughs> no <laughs> sedation. They would have done it with a broomstick. <laughs> I think I got PTSD from hospitals because of Algeria. Really? Why? They're so, they're just, it's, a cir it's not a hospital, it's a circus. This is, sometimes when I speak about experiences in Algeria, people are always like, oh, why are you trying to make our country look bad? Yeah. Bruv, this is just my, this is raw what I experienced, bruv. You're what, making bro? everyone hate our country. Bro, I'm just saying what happened to me. What's the is gonna come from? <laughs> Mutu is a robot. Yeah, our president, this guy, for I don't know how long. After, this yeah. guy can't speak. He can't move. He can't, He was still president. He was still running the country. Brother was just there in a wheelchair. He wasn't even an automatic one. It was a manual. I don't know. I feel like with the queen is different because we still uh, have a prime minister. Well, Boris, we still have queen. Boris. Can't believe the Donny try to say, oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know the rules. <laughs> Bro, you made the rules. But yeah, back to Algeria. Actually, Algeria, I remember they had like, the place where I live, they had like no beds. They literally have no beds in the hospital, so you oh. have to like, like on the floor. Why are you making our country look bad? In Algeria, everyone thinks they're a doctor. Automatic, you're just automatically. You tell anyone anything. Oh, I just, I, I broke my. Uh, did I could do this, do this, do this, <laughs> and you'll be, you'll be fine. Olive oil, uh, the, and you'll be cool, brother. I went to hospital. I can't remember why. I was bit ill. I always get ill when I go to Algeria. Yeah. I've gone to the hospital. There's a long queue. It was coming like a. The fire alarm went off and everyone was just waiting outside. And I'm waiting in the queue. Mm. The security guard comes up to me. He's like, "Oh, what's wrong with you? How are you feeling, mm. my son? I don't know. I'm everyone. My son. I'm everyone's everyone's son <laughs> in Algeria. We look twelve, but yeah, go. Ahead. Bro, Algerians over exactly even here in in the UK, bro. Once Algerian, once Algerian society found out I'm a student physio, they started like they they put me on uh, like Facebook and that, and they were like. <laughs> Oh, doctor, here is doctor in whatever, blah, blah, physio. And they started all referring me, like, uncles, aunties, everyone. So every, like, every week whenever I used to go to the mosque, I'd have, like, all these random aunties and uncles coming up to me and saying they got, like, a broke-up foot or, like, their knee or, like, their back and stuff like that. Like, it was just a madness. Like, I'd get so many people, but... Because they said I'm a doctor. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. Oh, yeah, I've been... Have you seen those videos on TikTok of, of girls getting onto guys that have podcasts? And all guys talk about is either red oh, flags right. or X or <laughs> should uh, we actually do that? <laughs> should we fit the the what's it called? The I was mold. gonna say mark scheme. Oh, yeah, this was funny. What? <laughs> I saw from diary room said when he does to a cat and he gets aired. Uh, now my ick is when you're in the barbers and you're literally trying to get your trim, and then in the corner of your eye you see the other guy next to you just staring at you through that wind through that mirror, the whole oh, that's, time. That's not even an ick because I'm. That's not just <laughs> uncomfortable. I'm not gonna. Lie I to find you. that so weird, bro. He's I don't just really like get that. trims that often. Yeah. But I hate sitting there and there's <laughs> one guy just preying and I can see him in the mirror and I'm not trying to make eye yeah. contact because it's not like I can make eye contact and dip. Like I'll make eye contact and then I'll just have to sit there and firm it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just shook of them, head, uh, what's it called, shaving off my eyebrows. Your eyebrows. I swear. Have you never got just... nicked by them on your ears and stuff before? Yeah, on the e it's always the inside always part the of the ear. ear. But can't complain because Bob is in Algeria. I swear you get swung around. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> your kid is sw it's like they're trying to catch a wine off your head. <laughs> uh, they do not <laughs> get in Algeria. I swear they do. <laughs> have you seen how they, um, what's it called, shave sheep's skin? Yeah, they yeah. They have like yeah, a specific yeah. razor. It's like one yeah. of these fat ones. Just, I'll, I'll include a clip here. <laughs> if, I think if it's not there, use your imagination. But it's like one of these, it's like a massive version mm. of like the head, the, the, the head shaver thing. Yeah. But. Oh, that's how it feels like. And the, the way they grips the sheep as well. <laughs> that's how they do it to humans. Now my barber's Sometimes disgusting. I have to use the London card. I have to be like, yeah. What's that? Because oh, they'll ask oh, me, oh, yeah. oh, where are you from, by the way? I'll just be like, oh, UK. Just so they could, they'll treat you a bit better. If my you say you're sheep. from Boomer Desa or something, <laughs> you're getting, your skull is getting get squished. Bodied. Now, my barber, I had to change my barber because every time I went, he never used to clean the razor and there'd be hair on the, on the, on the actual um, chair. Uh, so every time I sit down, I'm literally sitting on hair, hair on the floor. Hair on the razor, basically hair everywhere. <gasps> Disgusting. And then, oh my God, the worst part is once they finish shaving your beard, they spray this lemon spray that stings. Have you not had that before? Is it the alcohol thing? Yeah. Bro, it makes your skin go worse, you know? 
Or did you spray it on your face? Yeah. Why? Oh, because you, you did a bit. Obviously, oh, sorry, sorry. Like, relate, you've got like two hairs. Okay, thank you. But uh, yeah, when they spray, it literally stings your face and you turn you turn out worse than when you went in. Do you like fruits? <laughs> Do you like I swear fruits? you don't make like fruit no, salads I you trying to ask me a trick question. This is not the impossible <laughs> quiz. That's why I started doing more on YouTube, those kind of oh, videos. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people like them. I never thought I'd, I'm the type of person to do that kind of stuff. They're so entertaining. And I always said yeah. I wouldn't do them just because it's not the kind of stuff that I watch. And uh, in terms of uh, playing those games, how hard was it? Did you have to like redo it and redo it? And no, redo it I again? literally just, it's so, like the reason, one of the other reasons why I didn't want to do these kind of videos was because mm. I, in my head it was just too easy. I'm literally sitting down and mm. then that's it. And I'm done recording. All I have to do is edit. But the, my other videos, yeah. they're all they're all long. Like the podcast is so long to edit. We got um, Can what's imagine. it called? The public stuff. I need to go find an event, and then so yeah, long. you have to walk around for time, chat to people. It's always such an chat effort. Chat to people. Oh yeah, chat to people. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, now I'm calm yeah. with it. But when I first started, like mm. going up to strangers with a mic, oh my days, bro! It's so daunting. Just going up to a random you, and you don't know what they can. Do. And what I clocked is that. I judge people. Well, everyone does this. You judge people based on how they look straight away. I would look at someone and I'd be like, oh no, I can't approach them because they're this type of person. And then I would force myself to approach them and it's completely different to what I expected. Like there'll be someone I'll be like, nah, there's no way this guy's actually gonna agree to want to talk to me. Or like, I'll think, oh, they'll give weird vibes or whatever mm -hmm. just because of how they look and how they're dressed. And then I'll speak to them. And by the way, I don't do this consciously. I'm not like, oh my God, like this person. It's like, that, my brain just tells me, oh, but like avoid this, avoid this kind of person. I'll go and speak to them mm. and it's complete opposite and I've been so surprised so many times. Mm. We do we judge people too quick, fam. That's the one thing that I want to stop. I don't really, I'm not really a judgmental <clears throat> person but even I want to actively stop myself from judging people. So if you more times public, how, how would you judge me? I don't know. I can't like the way you walk, you look approachable. You just oh, waddle. Really? Yeah, because you waddle. <laughs> I waddle. You're like a club <laughs> penguin character. Wait, do your book. So yeah, go on. Some interactive podcast, bro. <laughs> wow. Okay, so club penguin. Someone, watch out the mic. Someone said to me in the comment sections, I remind them of a Club Penguin character. <laughs> me. <laughs> and bet, you know, I got hundreds of likes and people were like, oh my God, I see it. Oh my God, you just, <laughs> shut up, man. What are you talking about? I can't lie. Someone, I just remember someone said I look like a tripod. That's better than what I get called to. My nah, people call me loads of stuff. Walrus. Bro, but it's Walrus, not Wool Woolus. Who says Woolus? You said it on your last That's YouTube. It's a Woolus. Yeah, it's not Woolus, it's Walrus. I don't care. Man, man, you literally missed the R. Woolus. Did you say walrus? It's walrus. No, it's walrus. Listen, such I a I swear it's walrus. Walrus. Okay, you're right. <laughs> walrus. Walrus. Oh, I just switched the letters around. I just clocked. <laughs> you said, I I said walrus. I kept checking that video. I was like, wait, did he no, say No, because they're peaceful. They're peaceful characters. Okay. They're, they're walrus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they don't go to war. I look like who? Wallace and Gromit. I look like Wallace from Wallace yeah. and Gromit. <laughs> Bruv, what I got the other day that what? I was like... I got, uh, what's her, what's her name? Ray, the musician, this person. Ray, oh, Ray, yes, you do. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 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 this is the picture that I saw. Oh my God, you actually do. That's <laughs> <laughs> forever. Oh, wow, you even got the same mole. You've got a mole. Yeah, that's what the person, that's, that's what the replies are saying. You even got the same mole. You guys look so similar. Yeah. So yeah, what have I had so far? I had Pete Davidson. That was yes. the old one. Bruno from Encanto. Camila Cabello. Gecko. It's almost a tripod. And Have I worn this before on the, on the podcast? I'm actually I'm acting like we've had like 300 episodes <laughs> yeah. out. We were, okay, we spoke a bit about the previous. We didn't even talk about the stuff okay. last year. What happened last year? Just right. achievements, growth, all of that kind of stuff. But I feel like you'll think that's boring, isn't it? Mm. That's the self-growth and that. People don't like listening to that stuff. Yeah. They're like listening to red flags and icks. Le okay, let me give you part two to that obese class. It's not even about the obese class. Oh, yeah. But it's just basically when you gain weight. For Ed, no, give for okay. <laughs> non non uh, okay English 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 three two one. Let's do Cleo Joe. I'm joking. Est-ce que chez une nette mora bar FM à Nazir Taïnes? Aqmur. Non mais vraiment aujourd'hui on va parler. Uh, you've got a lot of French viewers by the way. Oui. Oui mais vraiment uh, c'est bien. Non mais uh, mais Ahshem là Starfulla. Écoute. So no basically if you guys missed it I was talking about my obese class like how I was. Um, Referred to him by the GP uh, last year. And then basically I ended up like going to a few classes and I was like promoting my tea business. Kind of flopped, I got kicked out. <clears throat> um, but basically I was just saying like when you gain weight, like you, you notice a few changes. So like me, one of the biggest changes 
is that I can't bend down like past 90 degrees. <laughs> you can't to pick things up because like your belly's in the way, so it's really hard. Another one is also like whenever I sit on my bed, I have to unzip the first, like my trousers, I have to unzip the first button. So there's enough room for my stomach. So then when I'm eating or like bending over, I can eat. Um, another one is also when I'm trying to get up from the chair, like I need a few, a bit of momentum. So I have to do this <laughs> like a couple of times. I actually swear. Kind of like a physics equation. <laughs> yeah. To then get up. So yeah, there's a few different, um, and I can't run a lot, very far distances. Yeah. Jim used to be bare fit though when we were younger. Oh my God, yeah. And I used to take us on what, 7 a.m. jogs in, <laughs> in the park. <laughs> All the time. And just do laps. But now, none of that. It's gone down the drain. Remember we built a tree house once. But it wasn't oh, really in the, It yes. was in the tree But it wasn't you, Normally the tree house Is at the top in it We didn't have The facilities <laughs> <laughs> For that But we made a tree house But it was at the bottom But it was still sick <laughs> it was a tree We got house bare there. randoms We went to the bins There was like a Like an old sofa Old chair There were other stuff There was like a little Carpet rug thing Oh my god and you we made remember a little that. tree wow. house It was sick Literally scavengers Yeah From day one Your family was a bit Like tight with technology And that as well isn't Very it? Oh yeah yeah My so mum cut the cable for like TV, yeah. Yeah, I remember oh, when we used to watch stuff at my man's house. Yeah, we would turn off the internet at a certain time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's just no internet. <laughs> just, just switch off. And then times we don't. We, it's not like we had phones with data. On, it's just there's no internet. Imagine you're just at yard there yeah, and there's just nothing. So we had to be creative with um how we spend RPGs. our time. There was one time. Why I don't know why we did this. What, uh, this was the weirdest thing. We were so bored. And there was, I don't know if there was, I don't, I don't know, we weren't allowed on a computer or something. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have phones or anything. We were very young. I think we were like nine or 10 or something. We've gone to the, to the, uh, to the garden. Mm. And you remember, you know, those travel bags. I think I told, I, I told you about this recently. The soccer with the... Like those big travel, let me just, let me try to find it. It's like those uh, striped ones. All ethnics have them. I'm Is just going to type in ethnic travel bags. The bag. checkered bags, the one at the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, those are a nightmare, man. Our parents used to make us carry those on the airport. It was like those big plastic With ones. no wheels. They have no wheels. Yeah, you just... <laughs> you put everything drink. inside. But really? it, was like, it was like Hermione's bag. You know the one where... You, With it was like a tiny bag, but you, she could put her whole <laughs> body inside it. It was like one of those ones. And they, your parents would make the kids carry them in the airport. Yeah. They used now, to one of... Yeah, th those were, were one of the worst times. And the, Travel, well, traveling. Oh, my... Going back to Bled, going back to Algeria, yeah. or like for any ethnic, going back to your home country. The night before, I'm sure it's oh. stress for all of you, man, bro. Everyone, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yalla. Da, 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 what, da. you find a waking up the long bit? I find a packing the long bit. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I'm actually a, prof a professional at doing Tetris, but in real life. The way I have to pit fit everything yeah. in. Bro, did you ever, parents ever bring duvets with them from Bled? I don't oh, think so. I can't lie. The one with like the... the oh, you have the thick ones, in it? The thick one, the lion one. The lion <laughs> one. The they were Ooh. nice. I can't lie. In winter, <laughs> yeah. I say you're not feeling cold. Nice warm. But nah, nah. We don't oh, do oh, that. Okay. Maybe we're just a bit... We don't really warm. bring... Actually, no. We bring a lot yeah. back. My mum lives, bring, uh, lives, loves bringing like these pots back. You know the Qabayli um, pots? Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Cl they're these clay pots and we always bring them back. And mm. then whenever we reach the thing, because sometimes we put them in like the, the, the luggage that you put underneath the, mm, the plane. Mm. We always have to do a check to see how many of them were broken. And I think there's like a 70% <laughs> survival rate. There's always some that just... <laughs> they don't make it. Us, yeah. They don't make Dude, it. Because you know, the That's guys, they smash to, it. They smash the bag. Yeah, they don't know. care. They just, we, we just put it between clothes and you just have to oh. DIY Tetris. Oh, wait. The did your parents ever like... You know when you go to the airport... And you have to, it's overweight. Do they do the thing where they just put it on the floor and they just take out oh, everything? Oh, straight, bruv. I found those embarrassing. So embarrassing. Now I can't, I don't, I'm at the stage where I wouldn't be embarrassed by that yeah, stuff. But when, as a same. kid, I was embarrassed, man. Like I would just, oh no. They wouldn't even put it to the side. They do it like there and then. My just parents, straight. <laughs> just well, uh, 25 kilo. Uh, uh, <laughs> five kilos here. Five kilos, yes. Where's the shirt? Come on. This one. Where this coat? Where Where's this coat? Where's this blanket? Oh my God. Oh wait, oh, I'm sorry. I need to stop this. But nah, it was the, <laughs> what's it called? Wear three pairs of underwear. Come yeah, on now. Just, and then we, I'd have like my, my hand luggage, like a bag. Yeah. And I'll just have to put like a jacket here <laughs> and a shirt here on top of it. I just, I look like a clothing rack and bringing stuff back as well. Oh. Bro, no. oh, the amount of, it, not it's, it's not illegal. It's just stuff that you shouldn't be bringing, isn't it? <laughs> <What was> that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal. It's just, it's just not allowed to bring into the country. Body. But no, I remember one time my parents, I can't remember what they bought. Yeah, I think it was like bare honey or something. I can't remember what it was though. It might have been sheep head. 
<laughs> so sheep pots. I slaughtered that sheep. No way no, is that. That was know. the worst one though. When the when we had the sheep pots oh inside the suitcase. Wait, was it, it all the pots? Yeah, it was just cling filmed like leg, cling filmed shoulder. <laughs> the sheep's just like this. Yeah, it was just there. <laughs> Bare nice though. Oh. I remember in the comment section, people yeah. were like, "Oh my god, can't you just buy a sheep here? Why did you need to bring a sheep from another country?" Did it? Bruv, it doesn't. It just doesn't taste the same. Yeah, the you're you're different. eating Gary's sheep from his farm. But it doesn't. It's not taste the same. same. It's GMO really not the same. GMO. And people were talking about um, how does it not go off? Because people have been eating meat for time, mm. and they were eating meat before fridges. Fridges is that a word? Refrigerators. Frid, frid, that thing. Refrigerator. Yeah, people were eating meat before uh, fridges. Mm. So how do you think they were keep? You thought they would just slaughter the animal and they would eat it all in in one day? I think the main method is you cover it in salt and it kind mm. of dries it up. Yeah. And obviously, when it's like dried up, it, I don't know, it goes off, it takes longer to go off or something. Mm. And then you cover it in like a blanket and then you put it in like a, a cool room and that's it. And it doesn't really go off for a while anyway. Yeah, Processed yeah. meat is not meat. It just, it can't be meat. It actually can't I be meat. Think it is. You know, when you get chicken nuggets from somewhere, yeah? That is not. Like, you know, when you get yeah. chicken on the bone yeah. and you eat it and you look at the inside yeah. and you look at the texture of the mm. meat mm. and then you look at the te texture of, of a chicken nugget. Is it? Doesn't a chicken nugget look no. like a rubber? Yeah. It looks more like a rubber. Sorry, Americans eraser. But not in Algeria. Did you not? Um, do you, you know? Do you not play with the goat? And so like, you go there and the goat's like playing around, blah 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 blah, and then you, then they kill it the next day. It's so peak. Like you actually you actually form a relationship with that goat. You give it a name. You spend time with it. Uh, we don't give them names. I can't and lie. The, oh, you don't. No. What was supposed Bro, to call it? Khalid. Man. No, we used to give uh, my uh, well, my Barry. grandma. <laughs> no, my grandma named her one Muhammadah. That should be it. Surely that's haram. Uh, Muhammad for a female, yeah. No, um, that can't be right. Is, and then we no. killed her the next day. But it, she tasted. I'm not gonna. Fair. She tasted nice. On my mm. dad's side of the family, yeah. they yeah. all got like sheep in it. And one of his brothers, they have like a sheep business. I don't know how to describe it. He's just got bare sheep in it. Anyways, yeah. um, he's got bare sheep in it. Mm. How do I describe this? There's just an area of land where all the sheep are, and yeah. people come and they just like pre all the sheep and they decide which one to take mm. back to kill. And I'll just be chilling with the sheep's children and they're bare cute. I got a picture of me holding oh. like a little, what are they called? The baby sheep is a lamb, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little lamb and it's just there. And I'm like, oh, you're going to be an orphan tomorrow. <laughs> they're just there that with is. their mud oh. and then their mud gets abducted and just gets chinged. Vegans, vegetarians. Yeah, you're just missing out. Not going to lie to you, that, that muck plant thing is not it. I'm sorry, but that. Yeah, Shem mm. does food reviews now on his TikTok. So that muck plant out. and the egg McMuffin with no egg is not it. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Never again. Yeah, you saw someone ordered an <laughs> egg McMuffin. Oh, shock. With, so you just got a McMuffin? <laughs> with cheese. You just got, you got and bread. Breads, yeah. Basically you actually got bread. bread. But like, but back to the airport thing, like, you mean, wait, were you there, Mwiko? And we were, we were literally about to go into the airport. And then they said, like, we were going in the security. They said, um, you're not allowed perfumes, blah, blah, blah. And I had, we had like a whole bottle of water. Oh yeah, like full liter of water. this guy. You know, he sh it's something about Hisham is that he doesn't like to waste food yeah, or drink or anything. He doesn't like to throw any of that because it's haram in it. You're not. And it's to money waste as well. It's money, yeah. Money, but your yeah, main yeah, reason yeah. is haram, haram in it. This guy, bro, we're bopping in the airport. And this was at like five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. This is when we just oh, this that day was stupid. Basically, when we uh, were in Mallorca, oh, sidetracking. Yeah, I haven't even finished the story of sorry, what sorry. we were doing. Okay. No, this was ages ago. What? What we were doing in those bags. When we were at your house, when we were kids. What were we doing? Bro, we were, when we were bored. We were bored, oh, yeah? Let me just yeah. finish that. We'll <coughs> yeah, go to yeah. your car and then we'll yeah. go to you not wasting food. But there's the bags. What's it called? What are they called? Sakaro the checkered, checkered bags. I'm sure if you're ethnic, you know what I'm talking about. It's those big checkered plastic Sakaro bags it. with like a zip on it. Mm. We was, I don't know why we did this. We just went out. We put ourselves in the bag and then we just zipped it up. That was, that was entertainment. I don't know. You lot must have had internet. We didn't have internet. We had the zip also. The problem was, yeah, everyone yeah. did it. Like, there were like 10 kids. Because he should have got best siblings, mashallah. <laughs> yeah, 10 yeah. kids just there, yeah? Mashallah. And we're all just zipping ourselves up in the thing. My problem, I got stuck. So now I've zipped myself inside the, the bag. <laughs> and I got stuck. But I started slowly suffocating inside there. And I couldn't. Like, you know, sometimes the zip up stuff, it gets caught. It gets stuck. It got yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just there. And I just, Man, I, I could barely breathe. And this, <laughs> I'm trying to like knock on the sides, but it's not a door. It's not like I'd be like, hey, ring the doorbell, open the flipping door for me. I'm just, I thought I was going to die. I just thought I was oh going to die. You just see the bag just going like this. Crazy. But as a kid, I, I how many times have you reason? died, man? You've died better. Yeah, I've times. nearly died so many times. You I'm, actually, yourself I'm coming like a cat. And then but no, the other bad. thing was mm. when we were in Mallorca, we wanted to save money, innit? Yeah. And a lot of hotels, when we were in um, Spain, we didn't want to book a hotel if our flight was in the early hours of the morning. So mm. if our flights are like six in the morning, what's the point of booking a hotel 
stay in the yeah. night paying like what 50 pounds so that we can then leave the hotel at four in the morning and then get mm. to the airport at five or whatever and then board our flight so we checked out of our airport at what 11 a.m yeah and our flight was at 6 a.m the next day we have our suitcases our bags whatever we've gone to the mosque we've just left our stuff there it was a juma do you remember oh, yeah. this was in barcelona mm, mm. no this was in madrid we just met some random guy in a random shop at like three in the morning this guy's like we were just talking to him whatever and we said oh we have a flight in like at like five six in the morning he mm. just offered to drop us off i don't know why we're in a random country random dude in a random oh, yeah. rest like fast food it was like a ugly like there bad light in <laughs> and it was just smelly and what the random guy was like i'll drop you man off at first i was like this is a bit shady like well you know what bonnet it seems calm i'm, I'm with you sherman should be calm we were young at the time as well i was young you were i was like 17 was you were like 19, you were 19. 20, yeah, 19. so now we go random guy Mm. Why does he have like one of those kidnapping looking vans, bro? Oh. He was the he was the safest guy, by the way. He was bare safe, yeah, but his yeah, van yeah, looked yeah. dodgy. It was. Yeah, have you watched um Lonely Bones, Lovely Bones? Yeah, yeah. The, the he looked one. it looked like one the van that the that, the, the pedo the, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he kidnapped. It looked like one of those ones, and I was like, <laughs> okay, this is a this is strange, bro. But we hopped in anyway, and it was calm. Anyways, oh. we got like a gallon. Was it a gallon? Yeah. It was like a gallon bottle of water. Gallon is like five liters, by the way. How much was left in it? There was a lot left in it. Yeah, probably like. I and forgot, like, when we were obviously you can't bring that into yeah when we go through the security thing they're like you can't bring this on because you're yeah. trying to bring on like three liters of water <laughs> literally so i'm like cool let me just we'll just leave it there that's not a problem it's just water mm. and then we got it from lidl or aldi or something yeah, it cost like yeah, 50 yeah. cents Saint -Constantine. yeah Saint -Constantine. anyway that thing the shem's like nah i'm not wasting that drinks the Hell whole thing the on the no. spot the guy was the security guy was looking at him like what is this guy <laughs> and then there was and i went to sit down because i was like this is going to take him a while to finish I, i'm anemic i can't stand up for long i'm not waiting for this guy to finish a gallon of water bruv so i just go and sit down and i see and there was a white family next to me i don't know how to specify they were white there was a family <laughs> they all just like whispering on the dad look at that guy oh my god dad do you think he's gonna finish it and, and they were all just laughing at him like the whole family was just bossing up at him and i'm just like can't ask my guy i had water dripping everywhere he was just good and you we didn't care about what we wore like we were just wearing yeah. I, I saw you wearing a vest bro yeah i was the white like one. a vest and a cap this is like five and morning five and morning in the airport Listen. anyways the guy's just down in the whole thing and then that you had to go to the toilet <laughs> straight yeah. away for ages that went, if you, you actually people, turned yourself into a water gun back to algeria do you have to like bring stuff to your family like gifts and stuff yeah all the time it's not like we have to it's just it's bad etiquette i feel like it's bad etiquette if we don't chocolates mm. and clothes and hats and I see things that I've never, I've never received in my whole life. Yeah. In that suitcase, there's like, you know, I've never had that in my birthday, never had that. In Eid, I just see like all these gifts coming up from nowhere. Like, you, you know. You just have to give back. <laughs> yeah. But more time we have less peas than them, man. <laughs> than yeah. them, man. They, this is what I don't like, yeah, about our Jewish cousins. Yeah. Guys, if you're watching this, you probably don't know what I'm saying. But. A bit of English. If this happens to have Arabic subtitles one time in the future. We're not rich, bruv. Stop asking me for the iPhone, iPhone. I can't even get an iPhone for myself. That's above 64 gigabytes. Same, I really didn't ask me for an iPhone. I didn't even have one. Yeah. I had one Nokia thing and they're like, oh, do you iPhone? And I can't lie, when I was younger, mm. I would say, cool. I would be like, cool. Wow. I'd be like, oh yeah, cool, cool. I'll bring you one. Yeah, what you as well? Cinema, <laughs> I got you. What, you my guy? Do you want an iPhone as well? Yes. yes. <laughs> iPhone for everyone. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, because like obviously I have yeah. to do this next year. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, just I'll make these promises, and these men are gonna forget. I go back to Algeria yeah. again the next year. I'm one year older, one year wise. I've forgotten <laughs> about these promises. Salam <laughs> alaikum. How are you? Missed you. Oh yeah, how are you? Yeah, no, no, we missed you as well. Did you, play, did you play iPhone? Did you get me an iPhone? Did you get me the phone that you promised? Da -da -da. Can't lie, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> gaslight. Start gaslighting. Straight, Straight gaslighting, bro. <laughs> what me? What? I said that. No way, <laughs> me. That's crazy, man. iPhone, mad. <laughs> and then I'm, meanwhile, I'm just remembering all the people <laughs> I promised. I'm like, ah, should I, I, I told Ramzi, I told Hussein, I told Yusuf. No, <laughs> everyone. We buy all, from now, we buy all our gifts from Poundland, man. We buy a makeup set for one pound. We buy everything for one pound. And no, I'm tired. I don't, I don't rate. I don't rate anymore. Because I remember yeah, one time, yeah, yeah, one of my cousins, I'm, yeah, he doesn't know what I'm saying. So it's fine. I can say this. But one of my cousins, he's older than me. He's like, 10 years older than me, I think. Yeah. I find that weird. One time That's I so saw, weird. my cousin started hitting his uncle. What? My cousin's like 17. He was, well, At the time, he was like 17, 18. Mm. And his uncle was 12. And he was just smoking his uncle. But nah, the age gets oh, mad. It's because my dad's the youngest boy. Yeah. And his um, oldest brother is like 25 years older than him. And he got married and he had kids young. I'm really, but I was reading actually in the UK that I was so shocked 
back in the 1800s, even the ni- beginning of the 1900s, kids the age of three till 10 were chimney sweepers. That's it. Oh, I can't know. They were put in, like, this was actually, like, legal. And if you see the pictures, it's so sad. Oh, I remember studying this. Too. Yeah, like, it was on TikTok, I saw. <laughs> on, like, bite size, BBC bite size <laughs> or something. But I was saying mm. something I forgot, man. So you were talking so about... I just went off on another tangent. You're talking about Algeria. And yeah. Then... And then it was something about cousins. And these men are like, can you get me this? Can you get me that? One time I had crepes on. I had crepes. Yeah. Oh, this was this was actually so embarrassing. I had my shoes on, yeah. I had Air Max. <laughs> in Algeria, they love Air Maxes. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why do they love Air Maxes and skinny skinny jeans oh, and the gelled jeans. back look? You're actually buzzed. Actually the ugly. skin, the weird skin. It's not even a skin fade because nothing fades. It's just skin. It's, <laughs> it's just a skin. Yeah. You're getting a skin trim. And then the gel on top. Um, What was I saying, fam? You're talking about Mind the brain Air Max. Fog, brain fog. I got new Air Maxes here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I was like 13 at this. Yeah, 13, 14. Hmm. I go to my cousins and they're all, oh, yeah, we like your shoes, da, da, da. And I was sitting on the stairs, like here, and there was like one cousin here, one cousin here, one cousin behind me, one here, one here, one here. And the oldest one was sitting next to me. Hmm. He was like, oh, what size are you, da, da, da. I was like, I think I was like size six and a half at that time. And then all the other kids, because they wanted to beg it to the older one, hmm. they were like, oi, you, X, uh, let's say his name was Gareth. He's like, oh, can, you should try them on, you should try them hmm. on. And I'm in my head, I'm thinking, why are you telling him to try my shoes? Like, what were you talking about? Try my shoes or shut up. <laughs> but I just felt pressured in the moment. Like all the cousins yeah. are like, oh my God, you should, like, they'll look good on you. Da, da, da. I was like, cool. Let me just take off my shoes. <laughs> take, take, take off my shoes, giving him my shoes. Mm-hmm. He's put them on. They don't fit. And they didn't look like they were going to fit. This guy was forcing them in. His toes were coming like this. Like his toes were here. He put the crepes on. His toes were here. He was like, oh yeah, they look, they look, and everyone's gassing him. They look good on you. This, yeah. that, yeah. like, and he was like, oh yeah, I actually really like these, even though his toes were doing L shape. And everyone was gassing him, saying, oh, they look good. And I'm just there, like, with my bare feet. Like, <laughs> with I your bare socks on. Well. on. I felt so humiliated because I was like, <laughs> this guy's going to ask me for these crepes now, isn't it? <laughs> He asked me for the crest. No. <laughs> I was like, I can't lie. No. If, if it was a few years before, I, I could have, I might have just been like, cool, take my shoes, oh, bro. Yeah. But I was actually getting finessed. In front by, of your eyes. By my cousins. And all the kids were gassing him. That's the thing oh. that, I, that that pressured me. Everyone <laughs> just gassing him, fam. One time I had a rock fight with my cousin. It was oh, so God. bad. This was in like some countryside area. Mm. And there's just bare like rocks all over the place. And we must have beefed or something. And he was at like the top of the hill. Mm. I, was at the, I was at the bottom. And I learned how to throw rocks from... Uh, <laughs> but from early, I learned how ask. to throw rocks in it. There's like a method. You hold them like that. And you kind of like flick your arm. And it just goes like flying bare hard. And I think we beefed or something. Mm. And we're throwing rocks at each other like hard. And I can't lie if it and I, we were like dodging because we were quite far from each other, maybe like 15, 20 meters. But it mm. was still so I got so much adrenaline from that. That's the only reason why I continued. Mm. I'm deep in it now. If someone hit my face, or my, I, I would have been blind. Yeah, I could have been blinded, bro. I was having a rock fight. Bonner snowball fight, <laughs> water balloon fight, <laughs> just dashing rocks. Man went from zipping himself. And it wasn't in a bag pebbles, it was actual fight. like rocks. Wait, well, did you not have TV? Some NBC movies slap. I can't. Oh like. yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna they actually have good movies though. With the subtitles and that. The yeah, English but I, don't, I can't read the subtitles. I, I feel so. I don't know why. I feel mm. like a VIP when we're all watching NBC. Yeah. And I'm the only one that actually understands <laughs> what they're saying. And yeah. all the time I will sit there, I'm like, how must this sound to them? Like try and try and speak English without okay. speaking English, but sounding like you're speaking English. For Roush and that's the rarest, the rarest. I can do Qabali though. Yeah, Qabali is just. But if you don't know what Qabali is, it's another language oh. that's another thing if you get Politically anything correct. just a yeah, tiny yeah, bit yeah. wrong people are gonna be <laughs> coming comments. for you well, we no. Algerians are not Arabs we Algerians are MSZ well, no, one time I must have been like oh like doing Derja translations yeah. someone's like it's not Derja and then one time I said Algerian Arabic yeah. and they're like no it's not Algerian Arabic it's just called Derja get your Derija. facts right before you come on the internet oh my god bro it's not that deep man does it, like, does it give you a sense of power do you, do you feel more authoritative <laughs> if you're criticising people okay we just have to restart the camera quickly but What's it called? We were just talking about how we think this is going so far because obviously we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> we're so rusty. But, um, yeah. It's not <laughs> we were rusty like we were pros before. <laughs> <laughs> we did technically free podcasts. On Because I was just saying yeah. off camera, bruv, my brain is just going too quickly. I don't know what to say because it's just mm. my brain is just scrambled eggs right now. But I hope uh, it's making sense and it's a bit coherent. Unscramble one sec. I'm going to get some subway. I'm going to entertain our audience. Okay. Hey, guys. Um, so basically, <clears throat> as I was saying, you know, sometimes it's just hard to breathe because of this extra layer of fat that I have here. It's hard. You know, when water tastes cold, it just, like, I hate it. No, I'm joking. Guys, um, if you guys can give any tips, if there's any personal trainers watching this podcast and you lot have discounts, 
please, I'm ready. You know, I can be your experiment. I can be a lab rat. Whatever you want me to do for eight weeks, you'd sponsor me, I'm there. We went to Isle of Wight recently. Oh my God, let me tell you. We literally went- I did a vlog on it if you want to watch. Yes, shout out his vlog. Um, I rewatched the vlog yesterday, you know. <laughs> did you? I didn't like it. Really? Uh, really? Because you were in it. I just didn't. I don't know. I just didn't like it. To be honest, some of the viewers aren't complaining. They just want to see your face. So That's so rude. That's Comment. rude. I'd prefer people to be there because they like me as a person. No, so like, obviously, I don't have anything to offer right Shem. now. Oh. So <laughs> they obviously like me for me. So yeah, shout out um, my TikTok again. It's us underscore. Go continue. Continue what? Continue. But yeah, basically we went to Isle of Wight and we went at the wrong time. Yeah, apparently people go to Isle of Wight in the summer. We went in peak winter. You know, um, we were talking about self-growth and that stuff before. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have, to, I have to make it boring again. But it just came to my head. Shem, this is not funny. I don't know why I'm smiling so much. <laughs> now I feel like I'm saying something wrong. Am I boring? You're not saying anything Am I bo- wrong. I actually feel like a teacher now. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. actually staying back. When, when I was talking about like being judgmental and stuff. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even laughing. You're just looking at me like this. Are you man? If you know, you know. <laughs> See, I lost my train of thought, man. I'm just gonna say, what, like, there's certain people that you try to avoid because of how, like, their characteristics, in it. Mm, but mm. I still think that in a lot of cases, you as a person should be a lot more tolerant to other people, especially at this mm. age that we're at now, where people are still figuring out who they want to be. Because more time, like, you don't really know who you are until you reach a certain age, in it. What, my my phone is telling me to sleep. It's currently eleven fifteen. <laughs> It's saying go to bed. Well, well look, I've had this. Real. I've had this bedtime reminder on my phone. It's sleep health. It, t- it reminds me to go to bed now, mm. or like start getting ready for bed now, mm. so that I can wake up at eight in the morning. It's been like this for like maybe three months. I think the earliest three I've months. slept is four a.m. And wow. he keeps telling me, "Oh, eleven fifteen. You need to get start getting ready for bed." <laughs> Shut up. I feel like that's maybe I need to take it off because I'm beefing my alarm. It's telling me to go to bed, and I'm like, "Nah, <laughs> you're rebelling. I'm, I'll stay up." But now, mm. what was I saying? I forgot. It's like if someone's trying to figure out who they are and they don't know who they are yet and now they've done something a bit weird or out of character or whatever, I don't want to judge them for it. I don't want to be like, oh, that's, they're moving weird or oh, they're such a weirdo or whatever. I want to be more understanding of how difficult it is for someone to actually figure out who they are because it's so easy to label someone as a weirdo. Like, I think also like when you have, when like, well, let's say you're close friends, like you tend to like forget or gloss over the bad thing, bad parts about them or the things that you don't like. And you accept them with the bad, with the baggage that they have or the things that you might not like about them, you know? But then when you meet someone for the first time, you know, sometimes subconsciously, me, for example, I, you know, I, I would judge them for that. And I yeah. feel like you're, you're right. Like, we need to be more open-minded. You have to think of what to say. We've done Algeria. We've covered that. <laughs> covered the covered whole. Algeria, the whole co- country. <laughs> Should we just do the rest of Africa? Do you have... <laughs> do you have any influences? Like, is there anyone that you look up to in your life? Like, anyone that... That kind of has influenced you in your life and your journey so far. You as a person. I don't. Who do you look up to? You saying Bolt? No, I look up to um. There's a guy on YouTube. He does ASMR. His name's his name's called Nick. Do you know ASMR, him? bro. Do you know what I'm about? If that's your cup of tea, then drink it. Like Trisha Paytas, like, I really look up to her. Like I she's do. kind of come out of her zone, and you know she came from. She was like a girl from the village, and like she like talks a lot, and like she came out there and like she's exploring different religions and stuff like i feel like it takes a lot of guts to do that it's and genders as well like it's very um chill. guys if you didn't know about me i don't know about pop culture i don't know about celeb culture i don't know about mm. any of this stuff gossip the drama that's <laughs> celebrity happened celebrity gossip Allah, i don't know anything fam just leave me out of that <laughs> conversation because i'm clueless we had, what was that thing that we did it was oh, like the some guess, youtube guess game. The celebrity some, guess the celebrity <laughs> Wallah, I think I got like You got like minus 5 out of 10 No who did I get Which I think you got Katy Perry You didn't, didn't even get, get Beyonce, Beyonce. That's I didn't cream. get Katy That's Perry Because I found out what Katy Perry looked like yesterday You didn't know Oh my god who else uh, You knew Camila Cabello right Only because everyone Because <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> of oh. all the comments oh. Did you, you knew Peter uh, Pete, Pete Davidson Because of the comments Oh god I didn't know what they looked like before I searched oh, them up okay, because wow. people said I looked like them. No, I remember we used to have the Qailulas in Algeria. Yeah. You know Qailula? It's like a yeah. siesta, isn't oh, it? Oh, I hated them. Bro, so. our, ones were, no, our ones were sick. I what remember we it? were younger and we had like, in my dad's end, there was like a place where there's like a bamboo patch. I don't yeah. know what to, it's like, it looked like bamboo, it innit? But it bougie. had like leaves coming out. Yeah. And we'd like break them and we'd make makeshift um, nap pods where we get like two wheelbarrows yeah. and we'll put one wheelbarrow here and then one, 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 one wheelbarrow here, one wheelbarrow here. Wheelbarrow, that's such a dead word, bro. And then uh, we put the bamboo sticks on top. Yeah. And the bamboo, it stops like the heat from properly getting in. And then this is in summer, in winter, 
I was out. How do you say Asrah in English? Shepherding. I was shepherding yeah, yeah. with my cousin and my brother. And this was mm. in winter, innit? It started pouring like crazy rain. By the way, it rains in Algeria. It snows in Algeria, in case you didn't know. Yeah, it starts raining bare. And yeah. obviously, like, we're getting bodied by the rain, but we have to watch the cows because they, they we need to supervise them. Anyway, are you looking for your phone? <laughs> I, I forgot you took my your phone. phone. Oh, no, yeah. what's it called? And there was like a giant like haystack, innit? Yeah. But it was... You know, normal haystack, it's usually in like a block, like a cuboid block. Yeah. But that's yeah. like when they like get it all together and they make it into that shape and then they tie it up. But before that, it's yeah. just they leave it in a pile. It's like a little mound, isn't it? Mm. We, my, my cousin just basically like dug a hole inside it and we yeah. went inside and it protected us from the rain. My little brother went first, so he was all the way like inside. And then I went in mm. and my cousin was the last one where he could, and he can like watch the cows from there. I don't know what it is, but that was so peaceful. It was such a like you could just hear the rain. It's love the ASMR. And then we're just sitting there, and it's warm. It's like a it's like a mm. Algerian igloo. That's what it, that's how that's I think that's the best way to describe it. It's like an Algerian igloo. We're just inside there. That sounds so. And crazy. it's just raining, and it's just the air is just fresh and crisp because this is in the countryside, and you were just watching cows. Do you remember you used to play karate or taekwondo? I used to do taekwondo. Yeah. Do you still remember any of the moves? Do you what, actually remember of like, like the the uh, sequences? Yeah. The cutters, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it's called, yeah. yeah. But now they're gonna look catastrophic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Does it actually help you? Like, would you remember them in an actual fight? It's more of a, I can't. <laughs> lie, I think taekwondo is more of an art. It, well, it can help you in a fight, but I feel like if mm. you want to like learn how to protect yourself more, like do kickboxing or boxing or MMA or one of them sports. But taekwondo is actually an art. Like you, you can look at someone doing like specific certain kicks or certain um, mm. like movements, and you're like, this, this is art. <clears throat> but like boxing if you if you want to smoke people just go do boxing or kickboxing or MMA I was taking it bare seriously bro you guys were on it I just go home you guys like yeah <laughs> literally bro <laughs> nah it was Shut fun it was fun it was fun I think yeah. it was yeah it's good to keep yourself occupied with that stuff especially when you don't have <laughs> entertainment at home like when that you, but it's sorry. a good thing I think yeah. it's good Physically, I, mean, yeah, I don't care about what I don't know about pop culture cool what are you yeah, that you messed up bro why why is that entertaining why do other people's lives entertain you so much it just you know it's just interesting it's just juicy why though is your life not interesting enough my life was very interesting one time when i was younger yeah. i locked myself in a bag and i nearly suffocated <laughs> wow oh, see how it's just in my life it's so interesting amazing <laughs> yeah sick maybe no, that's yeah. why i have so many <laughs> stories because <laughs> i actually experienced life <laughs> oh yeah everyone's yeah. like oh my god he's 23 and he's done all of this it's because you lot were just reading up on pop culture when did you first have a phone i had my first phone when i was in year seven but it was like a brick one Oh, okay. And I couldn't even I had no credit Nothing It was just the phone It was just a decoration phone I just can't lie there. My mum used to, I had No nothing No say it, say it. When I was a kid My mum used to beat me up And then I used to have bruises And in school she'd say <laughs> Just say that you rolled over <laughs> Just say that you rolled down the stairs <laughs> I don't know if I can include that you can. Guys this is just the story It's not real She it's, didn't beat me up She just hit me You know with a with stick Or with a wire or something We're, we're, we're fictional characters This did not yeah. happen And it continues sorry what was I saying? I forgot. You're talking about... Um, oh, you remember there was a like Blackberry phase in school? Yeah, phase, I don't know. Yeah. Most of my audience, I think, it's like 80% above 18. So I'm guessing you knew about that phase, isn't it? BBM. Nah, it's like 90% over 18. But um, yeah. the Blackberry phase where everyone had the Blackberries, yeah? I didn't have the Blackberries. I had a Nokia them times. <laughs> but obviously, I wanted to be part of I wanted to see what the flipping ping is. I wanted to ping people. That I don't know why. Mm. You know, you can send ping. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to do yeah. that. That was something. I wanted to take screenshots on a Blackberry. You know the... <laughs> I wanted to do that. I wanted to do it. What else was there? I wanted to get my pin broadcasted. I add up my guy that I wanted someone to do that. For me. I couldn't because I had a Nokia. It's sad times. Well, you're going to broadcast my number. But anyways, I was telling yeah. my... And my birthday was coming up. I was like, guys, I want a Blackberry. I want a Blackberry. I want a Blackberry. Uh, I got to my birthday yeah. and I got a phone and I was gassed. I'm seeing a phone box. I was like, shake. It's a Nokia, but it's touchscreen, isn't it? But it wasn't like a touch. It wasn't like all touch. Like this is the touchscreen phone and the whole yeah. thing is touchscreen. This one was a Nokia. So it still had like the the key thing here but it's like the screen was still t it was weird i don't know how to describe it mm, it was like mm. a no like it was a normal phone but the screen you could just touch it i was oh so God. sad i can't lie <laughs> but if, i think i think i wasn't very good at um expressing what i wanted i was always too embarrassed to say when i wanted something but i can't <laughs> lie my dad got me got me one after do you and then i got to do the screenshot <laughs> <laughs> Did oh no, the other thing I really wanted to do was play that game. You move the little touch, touch cursor oh, and thing. And you're on a skateboard and you skate. It's not a skateboard, it's like a little platform. And like, there's a ball and you have to destroy all the bricks. Oh, Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was not Smash Bros. It was <laughs> just, it, not it, Smash, it, just not Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah. It was Brick Breaker. That was the oh, name of the game, was, Brick Breaker. Wait, are you talking about, it's got bricks. Yeah, the one And with a ball and you kick, hit the bricks. 
the different bri- coloured ones. The, the brick, the, the game yeah, yeah, break know, the bricks. Know, yeah. Break the bricks. And then I went football one time. Mm. I used to play Sunday league. Hey, <laughs> Sunday league. And yeah. I left my my phone yeah. in the opposition team's changing room, and it got finessed. I lost mine in in a park near your house. Oh, uh, which phone? BBM. I had a BBM. Oh, you had a BBM. <laughs> you had, had a black room. You remember the BB gun phase? Oh my god! I remember someone bought one into school just shooting because I, I I went to two schools, innit? Mm. The one from year seven to year eight. Right, the the one that I went to from year seven to year eight it was an all boys school, innit? Mm. And the one that I went to from like end of year eight to year eleven was a mixed school. Hey, the boys school is so different to mixed schools, bro. It's so di- I don't know what it. Mm. I don't know when guys are, and girls are mixed together. The guys are a bit more like soft and a bit yeah. more like chill, and I don't know. But an all boys school is actually the closest to a jungle. It's like a national park. And we used to have sub- supply teachers all the time because, mm. like, no one really... It was such a bad school. I don't know. Okay, I went to Henry Compton. Bruv, we just had supply teachers all the time because no one just no one wanted to work there. One time there was, a, there was a supply teacher that came in and we just wanted... I don't know if we wanted to confuse them or just irritate them or something. Someone was like, oh, when they come, um, on the count of three, uh, start, like, slowly... Um, Kick it, like doing this on the ground like stomping on the ground mm. so then like five minutes into the lesson the teacher's talking talking and then the guy's like okay like we'll start now and everyone's like slowly just going like this to, like very slow very slow mm. and then it gets faster and louder doo-doo, and it's just like a stampede of year seven just going <laughs> and imagine like i'm 23 oh now the yeah. teacher must have been like around 23 24 25 mm. wanted like around that age so around my age what the hell am i supposed to do if i'm just standing up in a class and it's, i'm just hearing a stampede bro i remember my mom I, t- I think i told you my mom she went into my school to change your name and changed my name <laughs> midway through school midway yeah. through school oh that was embarrassing like, how what was the just... reason for that again for uni because they need my real name so she, like everyone used to call me hisham and then one day in class, the teacher's in register, she just calls out. She she doesn't call out my name. And like, I was waiting for my name. And she calls out this name. She says, Oz. I said, Wiz- Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, Wizard of Oz. So I was like, what the hell? What's going on? So I was like to the teacher, yo, you haven't like said my name and stuff. She was like, uh, are you sure? I was like, yeah. She was like, go down. So I went to reception. I was like, yo, like my name wasn't there um, in, re- in, in class. And I was like, oh yeah, by the way, your mum came in halfway through school and she changed her name. I was like, what? And like, I came back, I had to face without like, even everyone. Telling you. Without telling me, I had to face the whole class and everyone started making fun of my name, like Aus Mouse. Oh, Aus. is that where it came from? Yeah. Aus the Mouse. Aus the, That's Aus so the dead. Mouse. This is dead wordplay. Was your school boys or mixed school? Boys. Oh, oh that yeah. must have been even more annoying. Because then if he was mixed, you could have some of the girls, stop, stop <laughs> hey. being mean, stop bullying Please him. Please stop it. And this guy's no one cares, bro. Even uh, in this other mm. school, this all boys school, mm. um, there was one time, it was at lunch, and we were in like this uh, it was gymnasium. How, what's a gymnasium? Gym. It was like a no, nah, it wasn't hall. a gym. It was yeah, it was a sports hall, innit? Mm. And we're all playing um, table tennis in a sports hall. This was at lunch, and there's just bare man there, and all of us, and there's like a stage, and it's got chairs on it. Mm. We're just playing table tennis. Someone they 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 planned this. I don't know who planned this to this day, but someone planned to just turn off all the lights, and yeah. like this was like there's no windows, nothing. They've turned off all the lights, and it's pitch black now. Bruv, people start going cr- and I was playing with um one criminal. I saw it was the year eleven. I was in year seven. I as soon as the light turns off, yeah, I take a second for my it takes a second for my eyes to adjust, and then I can kind of see a tiny bit, and I see the guy in front of me. He's got the bat, and I can see his arm going like this, and he goes to lick it on my face. No, just dash it. I got underneath the table tennis table. I'm hiding under the table, and my eyes. I'm starting to like kind of adjust a little bit, but I still can't properly um mm. see. But because I can hear, I can kind of make out what's happening, isn't it? Everyone's dashing the tables. They're dashing the t- the, the rackets at oh people. Oh my god! I'm, the thing that scared me the most is I'm underneath the table tennis table and it's quite big. Yeah. There's people on a stage where the chairs are. They pick up the chairs and they they start dashing them at people that are underneath the stage, like oh. where I was. And I hear one of the chairs thump right on top of where I was hiding. On the table. Yeah, on the oh table. God. And then the lights turn on after like 45 seconds or like a minute. And you just see, like, the room was different to what it was before. It looked like there was an earthquake in there. Was there anyone injured? I, I don't know, bro. I just left That's after that, crazy. bro. I don't care. The, the thing is, people were getting injured at school every day. One time, I remember there was a Russian guy, and he was racist. He was, like, mm. fresh from Russia. Donny was, fr- like, he didn't even know English properly. And he got rushed, like, disgusted. Like, he actually got smoked. He couldn't even ex- he couldn't even say anything. The only things he knew how to say in English were racist. And they <laughs> got him beaten That's up, bro. Gets, bro. Basically, me and my family, were we were in, like, desperate times. Like, we, we didn't have a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I started from the bottom. 
But like um, here, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, hey, 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 thousand followers and that. Yeah, we didn't have much money. I didn't know like. Our parents really just can disguise the fact that we don't have much money. Like, even, bro, even getting one pound a day was amazing to me. Like, remember two for twos? Bro, I used to save. I used to not eat during lunch and save the money after school <laughs> two for two, Sammy's to chicken, buy a bro. two for two. Back when life was good. Remember my dad when you came to my house? Yeah. My dad, uh, we were re- getting ready to go out, and this was I was like fourteen, fifteen, and you, yeah, yeah, you were like seventeen. We were with Zach as well. Yeah, shout out Zach. <laughs> my dad was like, "Where are you not going?" And you, <laughs> and you were like, "We're going out to eat." <laughs> my dad's like, how much money have you got? And you're like, two pound. I could eat a whole And my dad was with like, two. what, you're going out with two pound? And you're like, yeah, two for two, two for two. We had to share two for two between three of us. We just had two thirds of a two. Remember that teacher? Yeah, yeah this is this is where I got baited out in Arabic school. I wasn't a good student in Arabic school, both in terms of being a student and in yeah. terms of like doing the work and stuff. And we had this thing called Imla. It was basically a spelling test where the teacher would read like a passage out and he would just, um, what's it called? He would read a passage out mm. in Arabic and we have to like write it. But Arabic is very hard to get all the spelling right because it's not just getting the letters right. You need to get like the punctuation and like the... Yeah. We would. I was bad. I was dead at those. Mm. And I used to just write write my spelling test and you're meant to hand it in um, after he finishes the passage and he marks mm. it during the lesson. So like for half an hour, we just chill and the teacher's just marking it. I didn't write my name on mine. So he didn't know whose who's it was and he's marked it. And I, I, I didn't write my name on mine because I didn't want anyone to know it was mine because I know I did dead. And he's uh, finished marking everyone's and then he, he's handed all of them out and he's like, oh, there's still one left. He's like, oh, this one did really well. Whose is this? There's still like, yeah, there's still one more. Someone forgot to write their name, but this is a very good grade. I was like, no yeah. way. I was like, wait, that might be me, you know. Wait, did I do well for the first time? I was like, yeah, sir, that, uh, that was me, that was me. He was like, I can't lie, he did dead. <laughs> he was like, I knew, I knew you were gonna. <laughs> the thing is, he knew it was me, you know. Wow. Because I was, the, so I was the only one that doesn't hand my one in usually. You, you but he did it to me on purpose to try. The fish. He could. I actually. That's why I have trust issues now. I actually got drawn out disgustingly. And that was such a. Oh, I was, I was genuinely embarrassed. You were like genuinely happy, genuinely happy, and then you got. I was gassed. I was like you me in a spelling test. I was like, wait, I freestyled it, but maybe the the remix was correct. Uh-huh. Arabic school. Oh, I didn't like it, bro. Everyone, it gets mm. to Friday. Every in primary school, it gets to Friday. Everyone's so excited to go home, to just go yard and chill. Oh my God, guys, it's the <laughs> weekend. Oh, Woo! what are you doing this Saturday? Yeah, I'm going to school, but in Arabic, so it's harder. And I think my parents used to always be late to pick us up. Oh my oh, days! It was in next ends, yeah. I'm actually quite an on time person. Yeah. No, it depends on what it is. If it's like school, well, last mm. school. Oh my God, in sixth form, I gave up. You know, school started at eight thirty. I was going to school like ten fifteen. Every single day, and oh, wow. it got my mom didn't even care. I can't lie, she was calm with it. And all I'll be in school, I will just won't go to lesson. Maths lessons in year thirteen. I'm not gonna. Lie to, I feel like me personally. I feel like schools they just they've got a curriculum which they can do in literally a few months, but they try to stretch it out. Yeah, like in the whole year where there's lessons. You to don't be fair, need it to. is hard though to teach so many different people mm. with so many different like types abilities. of learn. Yeah, with different levels of abilities, the same thing. Mm. The best thing to do is cater to everyone. What about GCSE? Do Do you feel like that GCSE, there were too many subjects. Cause I, nah, I can't like, lie, nah. Really? Nah. Me personally, I think it was too much. I think learning seven subjects or eight, whatever, how many subjects it was, is too much of a broad spectrum. Like they should have just focused on a few and then kind of like let you do your thing. Cause in the future anyways, you specialize in one thing. Yeah. I feel like it was too much. But that's just me. But I still feel like as a kid, you don't know what you want. Uh, Brother, I'm 23. Mm. I barely, I'm starting to figure out what I want to do. If I was limited in the options that I had as a kid in terms of subjects, then I really wouldn't, like, I feel like you need to explore different avenues. Like, like I said about people discovering themselves, they need to try different things. I think that's the same with like subjects and deciding what career path to go down. You need to try everything. You need to try the math stuff. You need to try the science stuff, English, history, all of that. And then from there, you can kind of, Decide where you want to go next. I still, I still don't think it's enough because I'd, I'd, my mm. levels, I did random, so I did geography, maths, and French because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, you know what, let me do a language, let me do a humanitarian subject, and let me do a scientific subject mm. because I had no clue. Even when, bro, I was in uni and I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I finished my degree and I was like, I don't know what I, I want to do. do. From 1998 to now, oh. and there's people that, and they were pressuring me to find out exactly what I want to do from from flipping uh what's it called sixth form yeah yeah, yeah like, no you need to know what you want to do no i don't it's bare pressure bruv especially that that this school that i went is tapped bruv yeah. it, the amount of pressure that they put on you and i remember for the references yeah mm. for um like uni references by the mm. way 
for people that wanted to apply to Oxbridge, like Oxford or Cambridge, they had elongated sentences, bruv. It was looking crazy for them. They had the maddest references. It was like, this student is bright, colourful, did it, all of that. Bro, I swear, us, man, it was like two lines. If you're not, oh, they just wanted cool. to get up the rates of like people getting into Oxbridge or Russell Group universities. Even me, yeah, I wanted to apply Russell Group, but because I did dead in my first year of A-levels, I did nothing for first year of A-levels. I failed most of my um, exams. I did well in, my, in, in year 13, but I did every single, I had to retake every single exam from year 12 and do it in year 13. So I had like, I think so I had like more. 11 exams in total in year 13. I did best stuff, bro. Oh but I did way better because I actually revised for that. So they, w- so they discourage people from applying to better universities if they think, th- they're basically the judge of whether you're going to get into that oh uni God, or not. They discourage you based on what they think you're, you're able to achieve. I flopped my first A-level, so when I went to my, I flopped my A, so when I went to my A-levels, what I used to do, I used to eat a lot of raisins, like all the time, because it like helps with, mem- <laughs> helps with memory. Like you say, raisins and, um, what's it called, and seeds. Didn't really help, but yeah. Okay, so Hisham's <laughs> non-revision tip is eat raisins eat and raisins. seeds. And it will do nothing to you. Helps with constipation. What would you so. actually... Do? I've, a lot of people ask me for revision tips and it's something yeah. that I just overlook because I'm like, I don't want to oh, remember that's studying. that's so nice. I don't, rem- don't want to remember that stuff, but I'd say um, it depends what you do. If yeah. you're doing like math, science-based stuff, um, what's it called? Exam papers. Exam papers, but actually try to reverse engineer the question. So like, look at a question. Mm. Actually try... Even if you have no clue what to do, actually try to attempt it and then watch... Where's the guy? My guy. I actually love him. Uh, physics and maths tutor that guy is legendary oh, yeah, watch him yeah. on like times two speed because I can't like he talks a bit slow and it's, it's annoying but watch him on times two speed and um, don't look at the answers like trust me don't look at the answers because you're not going to really gain anything from that Genu- genuinely try to gain an understanding and the only way you can gain an understanding is by watching that guy my guy physics and maths tutor I love Shout you to. I love you on times two speed not one time speed. I can't. Okay, Hisham's eating right now. But there was one more thing I wanted to say, but I forgot about the podcast. About the podcast. Yeah. Okay. With this, I want. I really want to be more consistent. We had some issues with the studio and stuff, but um, I don't want to make promises. But I want to do one for now. I think realistically, once every two weeks. I think that would be good. Let me know what you think. But I think once every two weeks is. I don't want to say one. Like ideally, I'd do one once a week. I don't know if that's possible right now. Shem's just eating Subway. I agree with Subway everything you just said. Imagine getting sponsored by... Oi, Subway, I can't lie. You're missing out. This is a great marketing strategy for you, yeah? If we just... We do our podcast, but we eat Subway on set. Just pay us like 10 bags. But I'm not gonna, I haven't eaten for two days for my, um, color, for my procedure that I had. Because obviously, yeah. So I had to... I, I've been eating jelly for two days. That's and right. I had laxatives yesterday. So all I've been pooing is like liquid. Can you imagine pissing from behind? What, do you want, <laughs> you want the hospital to sponsor us now? Then it's guys, ASMR for those, for my, for my... Yeah, if you don't like Khadija. ASMR, just mute it now. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about raisins. Okay, okay, class, class. Uh, I'm sure not a lot of you. And some people were asking me to do ASMR videos. No. I swear to God. No. no. People who edit ASMR videos, you're just listening to someone chewing chicken wing for... Time. Can you please post hate on this YouTube comment? Wait, no, no. What the hell? No. There's too many positive things, and and the next podcast he's gonna be like, guys, why did you, why did you throw hate? Like the last one. In in the first one he said, oh, call me fat, yeah. And then in the Someone second one he was like, oh my fat. god, people are calling me fat. <laughs> Bro. I actually, you know, just no. guys give Hisham attention because I think mean, yes, just appreciate you know the person that you guys have in front of you. Hisham, Allah. stop me trying to make friends, man. <laughs> guys, final words because we're actually just talking out of our asses, you more than us because our has <laughs> got loosened up. Khalas, <laughs> bye. See you later. How can feedback? The please, not feedback. Give us topics. How can the doctor say when I was in fetus position? He was like to me, by the way, he like whispered in my ear, he's like, by the way, if you want to fart, slay it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Whispering in your ear, bro. I don't even know. Weirdo, He's man. He's trying to ease you into the fart. <laughs> man was caressing me like, don't worry. Yeah, no. Oh, no, that's strange. Well, you actually, you've got a screen in front of you and you can see like your whole everything. So weird, man. It's like a little tunnel, like a little ride, roller coaster. Like you just. <laughs> on that note, on that note. No, we need to end it on a better note than that. Yeah. We need, we always sing. What what do you mean? You guys, you know Hisham can sing. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay, Hisham, Hisham was mm. talking so much that the battery ran out. Or if you just want me to do the podcast on my own, <sighs> I'll do it. Mm. I don't mind. Yes, it. yes. Hisham could just chill behind the camera. Yeah, that's calm. That's good. Guys, this is what the podcast would look like if it's just me on my own. Hisham, could you stop touching the camera, man? What are you, what, what are you doing? I don't know what I'll talk about, though. That's the thing. I feel like if I actually do do it on my own, I'll have to like get yeah. prompts or something. Uh. If you guys need advice. No, you know what? I'm, I'll be a counsellor. I don't mind being a counsellor. A non-qualified counsellor. Just come to me with all of your problems. I'll read them. You know what? Should I have a session where yeah. I have people um, call me? Yeah. Or like I call people and we, we have a conv- and we talk about their problems and that. And I'll just be like, yes, I understand you feel that way. What do you think made you feel that way?